Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm coming to you from uh, my studio, otherwise known as my kitchen. It's the best light in the house. Uh, hey, I've got a, a uh, what I'm going to call a starter drone for you today. Uh, the folks at Potensic sent me the uh, D68 drone, and it comes in this really nice case. So let me uh, let me hold it up here and kind of open this guy up so you guys can take a look. There is the drone and the case itself. I really applaud them for coming up with this uh, this metal case for this thing. It, it really comes in handy to keep a drone. Uh, Keep all your gear together, right? That's always important. But what's important here is the drone itself, right? So, uh, so let's take a look at it real quick. It's a brushless motor drone, and there it is, right there. <clears throat> let's uh, let's unfold it. It's it's pretty good weight to it. I'm gonna say it's roughly the size of uh, of a Mavic Air 2 or so. That's that's kind of the size of it. Let's get it unfolded. Uh, you know, feels, I'm just telling you, the, uh, the, the quality of it feels good. You know, that doesn't mean anything until you get it out and fly it. But uh, I'm saying that it has good weight to it and it, and it feels good. So uh, it does have a, uh, they, they call it a single axis gimbal. Now, this camera is rubber mounted, uh, but it is not, a gimbal in the traditional sense uh, in that it's not going to give you uh, any uh, uh, pitch or roll or yaw stabilization. So what's going to happen is when you're flying this drone, as the drone pitches forward the camera's going to look down, as it pitches back the camera's going to look up, and it's going to kind of be FPV style when it banks, you're going to, you're going to see some tilt. Now that's okay if you know that going in and you're you're okay with that. The big thing that we hope to see on this drone is is decent jello free video. Now that brings us to uh, the specifications. Uh, video is 2K on this guy. So not super high resolution but it is high res so uh, we'll hope that that uh, looks good. It will shoot 4K uh, photographs so uh, that's good. We'll take some pictures with it too and we'll see how it looks. Uh, brushless motors, folding props, you know, all important things. Uh, the battery uh, just kind of slides right in here and I'm going to have to look at it to tell you the milliamp hours. 2600 milliamp hours. Hopefully the camera will focus on that. Uh, but uh, And I don't know if it's a smart battery but I do know we, can, we should be able to press this button and uh, and see uh, the charge status well maybe I don't know I charged the there we go that gave us the charge status I had to do a double press there folks uh, but anyway charge it up so it's at four uh, see if we can shut it off now Anyway, maybe it'll shut off, but it's at uh, it's fully charged, so that way we can go out and give it a test. So a couple other things to show you here. It does have a downward facing optical flow sensor, tiny little pinhole camera there. And then right here is where you'll put your SD card in. They do ask you to use a class 10 SD card and uh, micro SD card, I should say. And it uh, up to 64 uh, gigabytes. I'm telling you, you're going to be fine with an 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte card. You can, it's going to hold all the video that you probably want to take. Uh, so honestly, that's about it for the drone. I mean, like I said, it, 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 looks, it looks good. It feels good. Brushless motors, folding props, folding drone. You know, it kind of checks a lot of the boxes. So... Uh, let's take a look at what else comes with it. So let's talk about the controller for a second. This uh, has a pretty good RC. One of the things that I can show you right off the bat is the antenna on this drone. And this one here, I don't know if I can get that in close. 
you can see a wire going up into the antenna. So this is a real antenna. You need to have it up when you're flying. This one I don't see a wire in, so you could leave that one folded up and, and nobody would know uh, any difference. But, you know, fold them both out. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out about this RC is you see the USB-C uh, charge port right there. It does have an internal battery. Why is that important? What I found is with uh, drones in this category, when they have an internal battery and they have an actual functional, functional antenna, you get a better signal and more range and less latency in the video feed that comes back to you. I, I kind of like this RC dog. I'm not going to kid you. These gimbals, you know, they do have a little bit of a toy grade feel to them, but, but they feel okay. Uh, but right, scroll wheel on for moving the camera up and down. So you, that's important to be able to tilt that camera down and get the camera angle that you want. Uh, this button right here is going to record. This button right here is going to take a picture. Uh, and then turning the, uh, the RC on and off right here. And this button next to it right here is the return to home button. And I'm going to have to look at my notes here to tell you what the other buttons without looking at it. So, so uh, this button uh, right here is the GPS switch. Uh, next one over is the uh, follow mode switch, so that puts it in GPS follow mode, so it will follow the GPS of your phone and the RC to follow you around. So it's not an optical follow, but a GPS follow. Uh, and then it has a, uh, uh, a circle mode right there, so that's to do that orbit around you. So. I'm going to have to look and see how that works. Typically you fly uh, over the center uh, and you would punch that button. The drone would start twirling around and then with the stick you'd uh, back it off to get that orbit around you. Don't quote me on that yet. We'll find that out when we get out in the field with it. Uh, and then this last button here is the high-low switch. Uh, and that's just a, a two-speed to move it in high range and low range. So. Uh, and in fact, I, I believe this one has three speeds, a low, medium, and high. We're going to look at that when we get out into the field, too. Uh, but, this, uh, but this remote is encouraging, and uh, it looks like it's a good, uh, solid piece. Now, what else do we get? So then I don't want to forget, uh, this is the mobile device holder, and it snaps right into the uh, back of the controller here. And uh, that is will put your... A mobile device then up above the controller. So the only other things that come with the drone, the accessories, uh, it gives you just two spare props, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. Hopefully you don't break a prop and need any more than that. Uh, and then it does give you a little small Allen wrench for uh, removing the props and installing them. And then it also comes with, uh, as most drones do, uh, with a uh, USB-A to USB-C charge cable. So other than that, I want to show you this case because uh, this thing is, uh, this is a work of art. I, uh, I so appreciate it. You know, often these bargain drones come with a really nice case and I don't know why some of the more expensive drones can't do that as well, but they don't. Uh, but this, like I said, I think it's essential for keeping all of your gear together. So lastly, I want to touch on a couple of things with documentation. They give you a really good, easy to read manual. Uh, it's in big print, uh, very plain spoken, so easy to read. That's important. So also in the kit is this little strip of paper uh, that gives you all the calibration instructions, and that's important. And I appreciate that. In this one little instruction here, it tells you how to turn on the drone, tells you how to uh, calibrate the drone and get ready for flight. Also, they include this with the remote, so uh, it, it is basically tells you what everything is. So you can overlay that over the top of the remote, and it'll tell you what each of the controls are. That's awful handy on a beginner drone like this. Hey, so I should also add, you, you can't miss it, on the side of the box here, they put a uh, QR code for the uh, Potensic GPS app, and that's the app that you'll need to control the drone. 
Oh, I should also mention that this drone does not come with a charger. So what I would recommend that you do is uh, if you've got like a charge block that you use for your iPhone or mobile device, you can use that to charge the battery uh, on the drone and uh, for the RC. Now I'm going to tell you that the battery on the drone, it's going to take it a while to charge. So if, if you want to fly this drone tomorrow, make sure you uh, get it charging today and it can take up to six maybe even eight hours to charge that battery in there so uh, you're gonna have to plan ahead to do that uh, the other thing that i'm going to tell you is with any uh, lithium battery uh, do not leave it charged unattended make sure you're around and in the house when you're charging it hey all right so this is the potensic uh, d68 uh, I think there's only one thing left to do. Uh, we need to get this guy out in the field and uh, let's get this bird in the air. Hey, okay, we're out in the field and I have the uh, Potensic D68. Uh, we're going to see if we can get take this guy up for a little flight. We're just going to fly it out around a little bit, uh, see if we can try out the follow me feature and try out the, uh, the, the circle feature on it while we're at it. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, without further ado, let me get this thing fired up. There's a very specific order that you need to do this in. So I brought the little uh, strip of paper to make sure I get it right. So uh, what they want you to do is turn on the transmitter first, then the drone. But they want the drone sitting flat. So we're going to set it on the uh, concrete here in front of me. Okay, I'm going to step aside so you can see the drone there. But what it very uh, specifically asks that you uh, fire up, turn on the transmitter first and then power on the drone. So the transmitter, that's just this slider right here. We're going to slide that over and now I'm going to power on the drone. Now it's telling me to pull the left stick down and that will put it into compass calibration mode. Then we're going to turn the drone clockwise here till we hear a beep. And then we're going to stand it up on end turn it clockwise again till we hear another beep and there there's the second beep we should have the compass calibrated now and now I believe we have to do the uh, gyro calibration and yeah so that's we're gonna pull uh, the right stick uh, down and to the right and the LED lights will change from flashing to solid Showing that it's complete. Yeah, there we got a beep, so we know that that's complete. So now I'm going to fire up the app. And interestingly enough, it's showing me that I don't have a lot of battery. I believe that I don't have a lot of battery here, but uh, we'll see. I, ch I thought I had it completely charged. But in any case, let's go in and let's turn on the app now. And what I'm quite sure we're going to have to do is the Potensic GPS app. And I think I'm going to have to go in and go into my uh, settings and connect it to Bluetooth. So let's see if we see Potensic anything. So we see the UDIRC GPS. So I'm quite sure that's it. So I'm going to click on that. And it did. And that's something that I see was not, I didn't see that anywhere in the manual. So let's go back into the app. That's something that's important, otherwise you're not going to get the feed to your app. And I didn't see that in the instruction manual anywhere, instructions on how to do that. And it is indeed giving us the go fly. Let me start a screen recording here. So we do have, yeah, we have go fly on the app and it is showing at the top. You would need to select D68 and we see that at the top of the app there. So we're going to click uh, go fly. And yeah, I'm going to allow it. Allow while using app. And that's important. And look at this. We have, uh, uh, we've got uh, GPS, or excuse me, FPV. We, in other words, by that I mean we can see what the drone sees. And look at that. It's taking commands. This camera looks really good while it's standing still. So uh, uh, it looks like uh, we can do a takeoff on the app here. So let's try that. I'm going to click takeoff right now. And uh, I'm going to get out of the way here so you guys can see it. And we do this slider right here. And look at that. Boy, I'm telling you, impressive. It moved around a little bit. 
Uh, and as I predicted, because there's no gimbal on this drone, we're seeing some movement in the picture, but the camera looks good. Now it's moving around, it's almost touching the ground. Now let me tell you, I've got a little wind here today, and that's going to affect that in the drone. It's going to make it less stable. It uh, affects the barometer that's in the drone. So, ooh, yeah, okay. I don't, I'm not going to bring it any closer than that, but uh, I want to bring the drone in so that you can get a look at it. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to start recording, and let me see if I can do that on the controller. And it did, and it's showing me on the app that it's controlling. You see that red camera blinking there on the right-hand side. And this camera is looking pretty darn good. Not too bad. We've got 13 satellites. We've got, uh, it says 88% battery, so we better quit messing around here. We may not get everything done that we want to do here today. So uh, let's do what I always do, and let's, uh, let's bring the gimbal down just a little. And we're going to do a drony, and what you're going to see is it's going to tilt back. In fact, I'm going to drop that gimbal way down because when this drone, when it uh, tilts back, uh, we're going to be looking down. So reverse and up now. And as you can see there, well, let's pick that camera back up. But but when I reverse it, you'll see that it'll look like the drone is looking down because indeed, or looking up, I should have said. Uh, but the drone, it's it's handling really good. I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with uh, the way it performs here. Uh, so one of the first things you can do, and like I said, I, like we were talking about, and by the way, we are looking into the sun here, so that's not the best uh, look with the camera. Uh, but let's try return to home. That's one of the first things you should do, particularly with a drone like this. You want to make sure it knows where home is. So we're going to hit the home button in the bottom left of the app. And it's going to go to its return to home height. And it should come back to us here. And it is. It's raising up and it's giving us a bummer of a beep. Uh, but uh, that beep lets you know that it's returning to home. And it's home. And let's see if it comes down now. It's turning. It's reorienting itself. That's a good sign. And yeah, now it's coming down. Let's, I'm going to drop the gimbal down here so you can see. And it's going to land almost where it took off from, so let's pick that gimbal back up. Yeah, so what it does is it doesn't, it, 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 it just goes so far and then you have to tell it to land. So, oh no, it's, it's coming down now. It just wanted to take a look at its uh, landing zone. So yeah, so it did land. Uh, it it kind of paused there for a second, so I wondered what that was. Okay, let me get it uh, back in position. We'll take off again. So far, so good. This is a great flying little drone. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can manually arm the motors, both sticks down and in, and it did. And then I'm just going to push up on this left stick, and there's a takeoff. Uh, so, uh, so let's go ahead and let's just fly it around a little bit. Let's just see how this guy flies. And we're still recording, by the way. I just looked and to make sure the camera was still recording, and it is. So we're picking up a little uh, altitude here, and it's uh, it's looking good. Let's uh, yacht around here, and uh, I always uh, uh, people give me a hard time about this cell phone tower here, but let's go up and let's see if we can kind of do a a manual uh, orbit around that. So I'm going to see if with the sticks I can just do a little bit of an orbit. And that's what you're doing is you're you're yawing and you're uh, uh, pit or excuse me banking the drone at the same time. And yeah, I, I over yawed there a little bit. So when you have this kind of a drone, yeah, and, and it went into it, it, for some reason it put it into uh, return to home there. And I think I don't know if we lost we might have lost connection or something there, but it, for some reason it went into return to home. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can cancel that. Okay, we did. We canceled it. And let's uh, 
Let's bring it down here. We're down to 68% battery. And like I said, we have a little bit of wind, uh, but I'm telling you, I, I'm not seeing a lot of jello on this at all, so uh, it's looking good. Uh, I'm going to walk out in the field here and let's see if we can get it to do an orbit. Doing good, doing good, thank you. Recording a video, I'm right in the middle of a YouTube video right now. Uh, but yeah, flying a drone. Thank you. Uh, Idaho quadcopter. Check it out. Quadcopter, yeah. Yeah, I'd be glad to talk about it when I'm done getting this video done. Uh, so, yeah, uh, nice guy there. Uh, it looked like he was the uh, one of the uh, uh, janitors at the school. Okay, let's bring this guy down a little bit. Lower the gimbal. There, I'm standing right there. So let's let's hit the circle mode here. And yeah, so it, just as I, well, let's see, it's moving out. It turned around and it's moving out. And yeah, and it'll turn around and face us again. And it'll start, it should, well, it's raising an altitude. Maybe it's ask, maybe it, well, it's still moving. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's doing here, guys. If it's asking for me to give it a direction. Yeah, I'm going to take it out of that. Okay, there it stopped. So and I've got control back. Uh, that was interesting. So, so let's try that one more time here and see if we can get that to work right. So it's gonna turn around, it's gonna fly away from me. And then it should turn around and come back and it should start in orbit. Yeah, it's not. Guys, I, I, uh, that's a little bit of a mystery. It's just flying forward. Let me see if it starts in orbit eventually here. Yeah. I'm a little nervous because I don't have control. Yeah, we're gonna stop that. So I took it out of that mode. Uh, I don't know what went wrong there. Uh, Usually when it does that, it'll start in orbit, but this thing went in forward flight and the instructions said that you could control it with the sticks. And I'm telling you, I had no control with the sticks. So, okay, I'm a little nervous now, but we're gonna try the GPS follow me. We got 48% battery. I'm gonna hit that button and let's see what it does and see if it'll follow me. And it is. The, the issue with GPS follow me and what you can see here, sometimes it's hard to keep in frame. I, I was kind of trying to move it myself to see if I could get in frame, but no, that didn't work. Yeah, that took it out of follow me. So we're in follow me again and let's walk around. I'm gonna see if I can push the drone backwards. And it is, it's moving backwards. Uh, I'm looking up at the sun, so it's hard to see. So that works. Uh, here's what I'm gonna tell you about these modes, is when you're in those modes, so I just took it out, and the drone turned around. When you're in those kind of modes, understand that this drone does not have any kind of uh, 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 it doesn't have any kind of obstacle avoidance. So let's go up in the air here. Let's pick that gimbal up. 
And let's see if we can take a couple pictures. Pick the gimbal up, spin it around. I'm gonna walk, I'm walking back towards the camera. Yeah, we're getting low on batteries, so I better get that done. Yeah, it's wanting to come back. It got down to 40% and it put it into, uh, uh, into uh, return to home. Okay, let's see if we can cancel that. And we were able to do that. Let's take some pictures here while we can. So I'm going to uh, pick up the gimbal just a little. Let's move it out some. And we'll get the uh, we'll get the cell phone tower kind of in the frame here. And see the mountains off in the distance there. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to do it on the app. And that worked. And then I'm going to try and take a picture with the button on the controller. Yeah, so that took a picture. And let's bring it back down to us and take a picture. Take a kind of a more of a close-up picture. Of course, that's not fair because it's looking into the sun. I'm going to turn it around here. Drop that camera down. Pick the camera back up again. Let's bring it in a little closer. And let's take another picture here. Let's go down, let's come down just a little bit and uh, take a picture. Yeah, we'll see how that looks. Uh, okay, 32% uh, battery. We still got some batteries, so I'm gonna start recording again and I'm gonna do that on the controller. And it did not start. There it goes. Now it's recording again. And we're flying forward. And it's, it, this is a pretty quick little drone, I'm telling you. I'm uh, four meters per second there, about. And let's see, we didn't try speed mode, and I'm looking on here to see where it tells what speed it's in. So that, I believe, I think we got three buttons there. Or three beeps there. Oh, that's definitely faster. Let's turn it around and bring it back to us. Yeah, it's going to want to go into return to home. Yeah, it's coming home. Well, uh, we didn't get to check all three of the speed modes. It's down to 28% battery. Let's not push it. Let's let this guy uh, come in and land. Let me drop the gimbal down here. And uh, I apologize for that beeping. And that, I like the way the drone reorients itself. And you'll be able to watch it come down. And here it comes. It is, uh, it is at camera level right about now. So I'm going to pick up the gimbal on the drone. And let's... Uh, Let's see if it lands. It, it pop, just what it did before is it paused for a second and then it came down. Yeah, just like now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that was a that was a great little flight. And uh, we are uh, we are at 28% battery now. We probably could have pushed that a little bit more. And by the way, I'm going to shut off recording while I'm thinking about it. What happens on these drones? If you don't remember to shut off recording and you turn off the drone, you'll end up with a corrupted video file. In other words, a video file that hasn't been closed out. So uh, it's important to remember to do that. Uh, so yeah, we got to try this thing out a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'm, as far as I'm concerned, it worked as advertised. 
we had a little bit of an issue with the orbit mode. I don't know what was going on there. The drone kept pushing forward. If you read the instructions, you're supposed to be able to control the radius and the speed of it uh, in direction with the sticks. Wasn't able to do that. So I, I, it could have been operator error. I might have been doing something wrong, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, that that because the drone kept inching forward and I that's so that was concerning so I took it out anytime you see a drone that's not doing something that you think it should you're better off just uh, just ending it and taking it out of there return to home function worked great the GPS follow me worked great uh, we we did get a short look at the speed modes and from what I could see on the FPV feed here on the uh, on the app uh, the, the, the pictures look pretty darn good. Again, they're not going to be stabilized like on a, a drone with a three-axis gimbal on it. But what I didn't see, and it's important, I didn't see any jello in the picture, and that's important. Uh, that means that they've got a good uh, quality isolated uh, camera on there. So we'll know when we look at the uh, SD card uh, later on. But uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me get everything shut down and, uh, and we'll take one more quick look at the drone. Hey, okay, uh, the Potensic uh, D68. Now, I haven't looked at the video off the SD card, but, uh, but you guys will have by now. What I saw on FPV looked really good, so I'm pleased with that. You know what? This appears to be a, a quality product. Uh, like I said, everything seemed to work uh, okay. The only disappointment I had was in that circle mode, and you know, I'm not sure if that's that big a deal to you or not. It isn't, quite frankly, uh, to me. And and there is, it could be that I wasn't doing it right, although I don't think so. I think I, I think I had it right there. But uh, uh, in any case, uh, yeah, I this is uh, if you're looking for a beginner GPS camera drone. Uh, this might not be a bad option for you. Uh, again, the, the video is going to be moving back and forth because it does not have a stabilized camera on it. But the footage looked pretty good and the, I think the pictures are going to look pretty good. At least they did on my FPV screen. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, I will put a, an Amazon link in the description below if, if you want to buy this guy. Uh, it's, uh, you know, appears to be a solid little product, and I really like the case and everything that they give you with it. They give you the full kit, you know. You can buy this thing, and you can be up in the air. The only thing you would probably have to buy is, a, is an SD card. Uh, and by the way, I put a, just a, an 8 gigabyte card in here, and it's plenty big enough. So uh, anyway, now that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I really do appreciate you uh, watching this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the Potensic D68. Kind of a cool little drone. See you guys later. Bye now.